What's up, and welcome back to the Overtime Sports Show. Make sure you guys follow us everywhere, WTMN World. Make sure you guys visit the site, WTMNWorld.com. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, WTMN TV, um, and use the hashtag Let Overtime Know to follow along with the show. Let's jump right in. This week, Naomi Osaka and LeBron James were named AP Athletes of the Year. We're going to start off the show with uh, college football, Texas Longhorns football program. They fired their coach, Tom Hermans, I think his name is, um, after four years. To me, Texas is kind of like Michigan in a way, just because I guess the expectations every year, and we've been falling you know, real short as of late. Um, let's see where they end up going. Um, I, I seen a headline saying that they're going to target Steve Sarkeesian. So let's see. Getting into the college football playoff, uh, Alabama kicked the shit out of Notre Dame. Fuck Notre Dame. And surprisingly, to maybe, I guess, everybody outside of the state of Ohio, um, Ohio State kicked the shit out of Clemson. I just want to say this because I, the one of the first, when I looked at the score, I went to look at just the field stats. Just because as of late, everybody wants to throw shade on Justin Fields because he played a couple of bad games this year. Like, it's one of them things like, man, shut the fuck up, man. It's They always find a way to devalue the black quarterback. And they was for sure working that on Justin Fields this year. But um, I'm glad that he had a, a real stand-up game yesterday. Um, whole bunch of whole bunch of yards, like six touchdowns, something like that. Um, and I would have walked, ran across the field to say, fuck you. I'd all of them niggas. Let me say this first. Again, I think I already said it, but let me say it again. Fuck Ohio State, but I'm glad that they did this to Clemson because fuck Clemson. Fuck Dabo Sweeney for that shit. Well, maybe not fuck him, but, you know, I guess it came back to bite him in the ass. So that means Alabama and Ohio State is in the national championship game, and I'm picking Alabama because never, ever, ever forget. Fuck Ohio State. Give a quick correction. Last week I said, um, I think I, last week I said starting last week, um, NFL teams could could interview um, head coaching and GM candidates. I was actually wrong. It's starting uh, Monday, July 4th. <laughs> starting Monday, January 4th. Keep running along with NFL news. Um, with the Washington football team, they cut Dwayne Haskins after he was just acting a plum fool. I, I don't even really – fuck Ohio State. That's all I, I – I had a I, – I was going to say more, but no. Nah. Just fuck Ohio State. He got what he deserved. Go ahead and get into the NFL playoff picture. In the AFC, the Browns, Dolphins, and Ravens have a chance to get in. And the Colts need a whole lot of help. The Bears, Cardinals, and Rams can get in. Um, it's funny because the Rams and the Cardinals need to win to get in. But they're playing each other tomorrow. Or they're playing each other on Sunday. The Rams can still get in if they lose as long as the Bears lose. And the Bears need for both of those teams to lose for them to get in. Golf is out for the Rams this week, so best of luck to them niggas. If Washington wins, they win the division. If they lose, then the winner of the Cowboys and Giants win the NFC East. Saints can get the number one overall seed if they win and the Packers lose, but the Seahawks win. That's kind of crazy. Um, the Seahawks can get the number one seed if they win and both the Saints and Packers lose. Um... Who I think gets in, I say um, in the AFC, I think the Ravens, Dolphins, and Browns make it. I have, um, and here's my bold prediction. If the Ravens get in, Ravens in the AFC Championship game. NFC, my prediction is Washington wins the division. Um, the Cardinals and Rams make it. Um, bold prediction, Washington will win a playoff game. Since the Bills are currently big shit in the AFC East, um, everybody's been talking big shit about the Pats. Let me say this. Fuck New England Patriots. But I think all of the crazy talk the niggas been, like, it's like they've been saving this up for a while. Everybody's been saving everything they want to say over the last however, like 21 years or whatever it is, 20 years, 20 seasons. They've been wanting to say about New England to say it now. Albeit some of it is true, but a lot of that shit, y'all just, is hyperbole. Y'all just saying shit. And um, that's just going to lead us into this week's Fact the Fuck Out of Here. It's actually a two-part Fact the Fuck Out of Here. 
First part of the fact the fuck out of here is when the New England Patriots miss the playoffs next year. Fuck out of here. They will not miss the playoffs next year. Um, they had a lot of niggas miss this year. Um, Belichick going to figure that shit out. I don't know who the quarterback might be. They might bring back Cam. Who knows? Um, if I had to bet, I would probably say that, that they'll probably find a way to trade for Stafford um, or get Garoppolo back from San Francisco. But I don't see a way that the Patriots don't make the playoffs next year. That leads us to the second part of this fact the fuck out of here, and that is with a, the Buffalo Bills win the AFC East next season. And that is also a fuck out of here because I'm picking the Patriots to win the AFC East next season. Never forget, though, fuck the Patriots. For all my sports bettors out there, um, I'm learning. So teach me. Tell me this. How early can you bet on stuff for the next season? Because I will bet on that. I'm, I will put my money that the Buffalo Bills don't win the AFC East next season. Use the hashtag fact the fuck out of here to let me know if you think the Buffalo Bills will, in, to, will win the AFC East next season. Um, getting into a little bit of NBA talk. Um, John Morant hurt. Spencer Dinwiddie hurt. Um, let's see how far those teams go without him. Um, of course, the Nets need Spencer Dinwiddie a whole lot less than, uh, than the Grizzlies need Ja. But um, let's see, man. Let, let's see how. And and actually, the Grizzlies been been winning a couple games without Josh. So, what what do you know? Now I'll go ahead and recap the marquee matchups that I gave y'all last week. The Hawks beat the Grizzlies. Um, Trey had thirty six. Ja had twenty eight. Um, the Suns beat the Kings. Devin Booker had twenty six, and CP had twenty two. Blazers beat the Lakers Monday night. Um, Dame had thirty one, and Gary Trent Jr. had twenty eight points. Gary fucking Trent Jr. The Bucks kicked the shit out of the heat on Tuesday. Them niggas was playing like it made up for the bubble or something. You fucking losers. Heat lost again Friday to the Mavs. My nigga Juka had 27. Um, Bam led the heat with 19. And Jimmy Butler was probably hung the fuck over. Because I think he only had like two points or something like that. This week's marquee matchups. Tonight, because I'm taping this on Saturday. Um... The Cavs and Hawks, surprisingly, man, the Cavs been playing pretty nice, man. The Clippers and Sun Sunday night. The Cavs and Magic play this week. Um, since the Cavs have been playing well, um, and you know Drummond ain't been Drummond been playing pretty good too. And I don't know if they still have that beef, but it was a little whatever it was between Drummond and Vucevic. So I want to see that again because it Drummond always played pretty damn good until you got to go against MB or Vucevic. Or somebody else who's pretty damn good and he get destroyed. On Friday, we get the Charlotte Hornets versus the New Orleans Pelicans, which means we get the ball brawl for it all. <laughs> this past week, the Orlando Magic was the last unbeaten team in the NBA. It leads me to this week's fraud or for real. And that is, is the Orlando Magic frauds or for real? Um, it all depends on what you decide makes, you know, makes one the other. But I'm going to say frauds. Um, they'll probably make the playoffs. And they'll lose to anybody unless they play the Bucks. Use the hashtag fraud or for real to let me know if you think the Orlando Magic are frauds or for real. <laughs> but actually, you know what? Um, I stopped my Bucks slander for now because Drew Holiday. Drew Holiday is looking like what they needed, man. Um, and I know they always look good and they you know do what they do in the playoffs. But they got to let Giannis play power four and not point guard. That's it for this week's Overtime Sports Show. Make sure you guys follow us everywhere at WTMN World. Visit the site WTMNWorld.com. Like this video. Subscribe to the channel WTMN World on YouTube. See y'all next time. Oh, you get more